Oh, hey guys, didn't even see you there. Uh, so we're back at it again with another vlog, and this time we are going to get a little bit more kind of into the the life, the day of. Um, going to get a little bit of some real estate uh, talk, and uh, you know, just kind of go from there. So it's a Friday night um, at the office, and we are you know going to be working on this and and some work. So uh, hope you guys like it. I work to find the fun and things up in my life. So I hustle. So we're at the hospital here, waiting for my grandma to get our surgery. Just working. Check out this view. It's not the best, but you know, it's not too shabby. Um, kind of forgot to start this video before I hit live, but we uh, we are live here with my brand new listing. Check it out, people. Hey guys, so we're about to take the munchkin to the vet. She's a little bit crazy right now, but it should be interesting. She's been getting better in the car. So let's uh, check this out. Hey. Hey. You ready to go to the vet? You ready to go? Yeah, she's about to get the phone. So this should be interesting. We'll check in soon. And there's Susan just exploring the vet here. He has to sniff everything. Found out she's weighing in at 7.6 pounds. So the vet was pretty good. Uh, Susan got two shots. Um, she saw a couple big dogs that she was not afraid of. I uh, really thought one of them was going to teach her a lesson but it was okay uh, she did the shots pretty good but she was screaming they heard her in the lobby and uh, right now she's a, a little passed out you know she played a little bit outside and I think the shots wore her out so got a little bit of work done now it's time to uh, head back to the office and uh, meet with a few clients so should be a, a good rest of a good fun rest of the uh, afternoon Got some work done at the office. Uh, time to show my rental listing here in Lamont. Um, have a few people that I am meeting, and then I'd like to sneak back to the office to finish up a few things. And, uh, and then today we are throwing a surprise party for our wonderful office mom, Karen. Uh, it's her 60th birthday, so we, uh, we have a little get together planned, so it should be pretty fun. So check out this little beauty. Um, so yeah, let's keep it going. Going to be heading out here shortly to uh, head over to one of my listings. Going to take some notes, see what maybe we can change around at the house. Maybe get some photos retaken, uh, you know, to help out with with the listing here. So, all right, so back from the house, uh, got my notes. Going to be reaching out to the seller so that we can, uh, you know, make some changes, hopefully uh, get a few more eyes on the prize here. Uh, it's been a productive day. Uh, had meetings in the morning, came back, check on uh, little Susan here. Um, you know, went to the house, did some marketing work, uh, two loads of laundry, dishes, man, crazy, crazy day. All right, so we're about to walk into Target. Need to pick up a curtain and a bed sheets for a listing that I have. Need to do a couple new shoots for uh, for the listing. Um, you know, kind of give it a new spin, some new life. So that's gonna be fun. Then I have a, uh, a lunch with a really good uh, friend, and uh, after that will be the photo shoot for uh, you know to reshoot that. So keep you posted. I'm in Target right now, and they don't quite have what I want for shower curtains. But uh, we found something, the one I wanted, that didn't uh, come in time on Amazon, so what you gonna do? Well, that was quite the experience at Target here. Uh, apparently somebody put drapes in the bath section, and when you're in a hurry, and those look the nicest, it's like, you know, what are you gonna do? And then you go try to check it out, and you're like, oh crap. We got drapes, not shower curtain. So, yeah, that was fun. All right, time for the next adventure. 
All right, so we just reshot some of the rooms inside, and now we're gonna do some cool drainage. You can check that out. You know, anything you gotta do to get uh, the job done. So I'm waiting here for my home inspection and figured I'd get some recording in since it's have been a little behind. Uh, but today, this week has been, you know, pretty crazy. Got two two properties under contract. One of them was a listing of mine that, um, you know, we've had good activity, but it's taken some time. Um, and uh, then we got a, you know, a buyer that I'm working with under contract. So that is, that's fun. So we'll, uh, you know, we have an inspection now. Um, I had a CE class this week to, you know, kind of further further my knowledge for, you know, for my license, for me to, you know, better my clients. Um, you know, went over some some talks on the contract, um, you know, this way we can, you know, better explain things to clients and, and stuff like that. So that, that was that was fun and, and an interesting class. Um, and one thing that I wanted to go over for, for this vlog here is, um, you know, kind of what to look for on showings. And I think I'll definitely expand on this later on, but um, a quick 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 tip that I would give is, you know, I think these, you know, all the shows on HGTV kind of, you know, get these buyers in the mindset of, you know, does it have granite? Does it, you know, what's the paint like and, and all that. And not saying that's not important, but that's not something that we should necessarily be focusing or looking on for showings. I know a lot of buyers sometimes want move in ready and, and that's great. And, you know, it's definitely something to look for and to make happen. But, um, you know, adding granite or countertops or, you know, painting something, I, it's not the end of the world. I know some buyers, you know, don't have the means or don't want to do that. But what really should be focused out on, on showings is is the main things you know how are the windows that that's a big expense um you know something that i like to call the big ticket items like windows what's the roof condition like you know how's the the hvac system the furnace the ac i mean those are things that um you know something should be a main focus maybe you know maybe on the first showing or second showing um but you know small things like you know the the flooring or the the granite or like i said paint or the vanity a lot of that stuff you can change out relatively cheaply relatively easily um but you know windows that that's a pretty big project um you know doing a roof that that's also you know that's something that's bigger you know an hvac system to update or renovate that that costs some money um so those are the things that that I would highly recommend to you know look for on showings and don't just get distracted by wow the kitchen was updated or um, you know it's got a fresh coat of paint you know again those are important things but we should be looking at you know the things that will cost you money the things that you know are really you know how are the bones of the house you know what what things are you gonna have to update or or take care of or maintain um, those are the main things and you know and I tried my best to to do those for the buyers like I said sometimes you get distracted with uh, you know some of the finishes and that's fine um, and that's what I'm there for to kind of say look you know this is what we should be looking at you know guide their attention to that so you know that's something that I really really look for when I'm working with buyers and, and going on showings and things like that so uh, that's my tip for for buyers on showings and and again I think I'll definitely expand on this later but I just wanted you know in this this week's vlog to you know to kind of at least mention it get the thought out there and stuff like that so hope that's hope that's enjoyable for you guys so thank you very much